ooh, 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 ooh. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's okay. I'm excited. It smells so good. Yeah, it does smell delicious. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Okay, so we have an amazing recipe for you guys today. You guys know that we just got the new Ninja Hotness, the Ninja Foodie XL pressure cooker, pressure steamer with the smart lid. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's really, really cool. So Babe wants to make... Chicken pot pie. Chicken pot pie in it. One device, homemade pie crust, which I have to give Babe a huge shout out. I said that we should just buy the pie crust at the store. Oh, for, for like, days you've been talking your but trash. She, she used her KitchenAid and she made freaking <laughs> homemade pie crust. It's the easiest thing on earth. Chicken pot pie, homemade pie crust in one device, the Ninja Foodie. It's going to be really good, I think. Quick, simple, yeah. easy, homemade chicken pot pie. All right, follow along. Super simple recipe for like a good winter, fall, winter. Hearty. Hearty, mm -hmm. good dinner. So yeah. I'm excited. Me too. All right, babe. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, yeah. And here we go. go. Okay, so I've done all of the hard work, all the cutting, the chopping, everything is pre-done. Now I'm gonna give you the ingredients for the simple recipe. I got it out of the Ninja Foodie cookbook. I've doubled it. We're gonna start with one cup of frozen green peas, two pounds of chicken breast chopped up into one inch cubes, two large carrots cubed, one full white onion diced, four cloves of garlic, one cup of heavy whipping cream, two tablespoons of kosher salt, two cups of chicken broth, one tablespoon of thyme, two celery stalks, one half a cup of all-purpose flour, one full stick of butter, two tablespoons of Italian parsley, and you can do a homemade pie crust or you can do a store-bought one. But I chose to make a real one just to prove Josh wrong. And how did you make the pie crust, babe? Pie crust was really easy. I put it in my KitchenAid mixer. It was flour, salt, sugar, cold water, and butter. And then Very you put easy. it in the refrigerator for a little while. And, and then I put it in the refrigerator crust. for an hour, and now I've got pie crust. Hopefully. We'll see. All right, babe. Okay. Let's do it. Right. Okay, babe. So let's get this thing fired up. What mode do you got it on? You have it on the air fry stovetop mode. I have it slid over to air fry stovetop. We're doing sear saute on level four. We're going to hit start. It takes five minutes to warm up, and then we will put our first ingredients okay, in. Okay, it's been five minutes on sear saute, so we're all heated up. Now I'm going to put my stick of butter in. This is one full cup of butter. All right, so let's get that butter melted. And you might have seen in our other videos, but I'm just, I'm seriously loving these spatulas. They're so awesome. It's just a thick, high heat silicone, all one piece from Thermaworks. Spatula, and I love it. And actually, I just asked Josh to order it for me in pink because they have all different colors. I love these. So I'm gonna throw every spatula I have out. These are one of my favorite new tools, if you can't tell. All right, so that's looking good. I'm gonna put my carrots my onion and my garlic in. And how much carrot? Uh, that was, this was that two carrots, oh, okay. but they were giant carrots. Yeah. One full white onion and four big cloves of garlic. Squoze. Squoze. With your garlic press. Yes, sir. And so we're going to let these saute for another five minutes or so. Okay, next we're going to do our two cups of chicken broth. We still have it on our sear saute. And we're going to add our chicken. And you did a little bit over two pounds. It's probably just a slightly over. And you cube them into like little one inch cubes. Little one inch cubes is just perfect. That's right, right at what you need. All right, let's get that mixed up. Oh yeah. Okay. I turned it off. I'm gonna close my lid. I'm gonna slide it over this way. To pressure, we're going to leave it on high and we're going to do it for five minutes. And it takes about six minutes to preheat and then it will turn on. So it's a total of 11 minutes from start to finish for our pressure cook. But you set it for five. 
I set it for five, yes. So honestly, we are loving this new Ninja Foodi. As you can see, you can just slap down the lid and you can pressure cook. Yeah. You can open it back up. You can do the sear saute. At the end of this video, we're going to broil the pie crust, yeah. right? So it does, it bakes bread and yogurt and dehydrate. It does like a bunch Everything. of crazy stuff. So there's a link below for that. Yeah. It's really cool. I mean, this, I would say, is geared for any working family. Yeah, that definitely. That works full time. Any definitely. college student. Single parent, yeah. Single it's dude, very cool. single woman, yeah. anything. It's so easy. Yeah. So easy. So that is pressure cooking. We have to take this moment to not only thank all of our channel members. There's a little join button next to the subscribe button, but our top tier channel members. Thank you guys so so much. We appreciate all thank of you, you that come into our premieres, the channel members that show up in green. All of you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank we you. Thank you. We appreciate you. Thank yeah. you so much. So, when this is done pressure cooking, we are going to add a couple more ingredients, right? Yep. Then you're going to put your, you got to roll out your homemade pie crust. I'm so excited to you're see gonna that. You're going to put that down. Out. We're going to sear saute it for a little more. Then we're going to broil it, which is also another setting in this thing. And then we're going to slice into it. So the pie crust is on the top and then you have all the fixins down below. So right. we'll get the thumbnail and we'll grub down. I'm looking forward to it. Pretty rocking dinner, babe. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be good. All right, come on back and we will see you when this is done pressure cooking. Okay, it's been our five minutes and now I'm about to release the pressure, which this has always been my scariest part. But with this one, it's not like as scary. <laughs> Are you sure, babe? Yeah, so we gotta let that release for a few minutes and then we're gonna move it over to our sear saute mode again and put the rest of our ingredients in. We released the pressure. Let's open it up and see. Ooh, yeah. Nobody can see anything. It's too foggy. Okay, so everything is done. We're going to now move it over to the sear saute. So I actually have to close it. I'm going to press stop. Move it to sear saute. Back on number four. Start. Okay, and we are going to open it back up and pour the rest of our ingredients in, which is one cup of peas frozen, two stalks of celery, two tablespoons of Italian parsley, two tablespoons of thyme, our kosher salt, one cup of heavy whipping cream, one half cup of all-purpose flour, fresh ground pepper. Let's mix this all together. Ooh, so babe, are you gonna mix yeah. this on sear saute number four until it comes to like, kind of like a bubbly boil? Yep. Oh my goodness, yes. In every way. I can hear it starting to bubble. Oh my gosh, the smell. Chicken pot pie is one of my all-time favorites. As a kid, I would get those, my mom would buy the frozen Marie Calendar ones. <laughs> and I'd heat them up. I actually still do sometimes when I'm at their house. It's delicious. All right, it's been three minutes. We have it nice and thick, as you can tell. The flour is really what thickened it up. It smells phenomenal. So now comes the biggest test of all, my pie crust. All right, we're gonna turn the foodie off. I have my pie crust rolled out, and as you can see, I put an X in the middle because you need to be able to vent it. Can you see that? Okay. Hopefully I made it the right size. I just kind of eyeballed it. I'm a little nervous. This is my first time making a pie crust. And it's actually pretty perfect. Okay, are you ready? Let's close it. So we're keeping it on the air crisp side. We're gonna go down to broil. We are gonna leave it at 450 for 10 minutes. And let's see how my pie crust does. I'm so excited. Babe, this is a big moment. You just broiled it for, oh boy. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, it looks all right. I mean, it's not the best pie crust The ever, pie crust looks done. But it looks done, and that's the important part. And it's going to be delicious. 
For my first time making a homemade pie crust, I think that's all right. Let's cut into it and see what happens. All right, let's see. I mean, it feels done. Oh yeah. Seems like a pretty flaky cr pie crust. Okay, babe. Ow, that's hot. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh boy, no oh, boy. That's okay. It may not be the most beautiful looking, but it smells amazing. It it looks good, babe. I think it looks pretty darn good. I'm excited. It smells so good. Yeah, it does. Go ahead, babe. You add something. I just want to add that I did want to put potatoes in this. That would be good. If you want to put potatoes in it, you can. I did not, but I have potatoes that I wanted to, but we opted to not. I also want to add something. These lights literally look like I'm Skeletor and we're living on the sun. I got you a bite. I'm so, it smells so good. I'm very excited. Okay, babe. Cheers. And I like to put- Hold on, um, I, oh I gotta show the folks. I gotta show the folks, babe. I gotta show the folks. Oh. I like to put Frank's hot sauce on mine. Do you really? Mm -hmm. That's really I never good. actually Cholula. thought of that. I, Cholula, I, I, actually I never thought about either one of those. It's really good. Mm. Okay. Okay. Really delicious. If you guys have I'm ever so had a Marie Callender's heat up microwave, or do you make them in the oven or microwave? I make them in the microwave. It tastes exactly like that. I think it's way better. It is a very good. That is, mm -hmm. that is good. Mm. It's better because it has the homemade taste. Yes, mm -hmm. that is true. How's that pack crust? And Babe did a very, very good job on her homemade pie crust. <laughs> I do think that it's the same. I have the same opinion as homemade pizza. You know, all these people have pizza ovens and they do the. the it's a lot of, lot of drama. A lot. It it's was expensive so easy to make. for a pizza oven. Um, my that's my that's my easy. argument about it. Well, the pie crust was easy. It took me all of four minutes to make. Mm -hmm. I'm just I would, happy with that. I would grub down on that. Well, good. Because you have a lot of grubbing to do. Babe? That is good. This was a successful cook. That is a very, very good, babe. This little item right here. The Ninja Foodie new XL pressure cooker, smart lid, steam pressure, something, something, something. And I'm glad I doubled the recipe, actually. I am doing. Wow. I like that almost, veggies. That almost has the chicken and dumplings feel? No. But not like, no. It's not as liquidy. It's not as liquidy. Yeah, it's very wow. Good. But I would put a couple more veggies in it next time. Like what? Well, no, you put peas and carrots. Oh, more and, carrots and peas. I mean, mm -hmm. oh, babe, that is. But I'm a big veggie person, <sighs> so I like the veggies. That is so good. The chicken is perfect too. Uh oh. Oh, I got a duck. Cause mm. babe, I like your crust. Well, I like your crust, babe. I do like the crust. You did a good job. I mean, it was a lot of drama and effort and labor when you could have no spent drama. two dollars. No but... effort, no labor. <laughs> but it was so easy to make. Literally four or five ingredients. But we're just eating this whole thing. It's okay. so good. Okay. Say goodbye to the folks. I'm ready to get back <laughs> to Christmas movies. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Make this recipe if you do. It's please, so good. Please let us know. Yeah. It's what very you good. You could also make it in an oven. But this is way easier. True facts. And you should get yourself one of these for Christmas. Also true facts. All right. Okay. Bye. A little salty. You think it's salty? Uh -huh. I don't think it's salty. Obviously, you don't think it's salty. You're shoveling it in your Garfield. Well... <laughs> That's because it's so good. It is very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, babe. Yeah. Mm -hmm.